why am I leaning into your seat, Chad? Well, it's because I'm a pretty cozy gentleman, Mark, but it's also because these things have a ton of roll. Yes. Even in the club form, this moves around an unbelievable amount. Yes. And unfortunately, because of that, in the corners, when you are going flat out, it does lead to some weight transfer and oversteer moments as well. Yeah, so basically what you're doing when you're driving this, you're constantly, for me, what I feel like is it's constantly moving around in the back. And it's not that it's out of control, but it's this little dance maneuver, and I constantly have to drive more with my fingertips to feel this and make these subtle corrections. And while it is engaging, it's definitely not slower and you're fighting for grip. So where does that leave us with the ND? You have one of the best chassis with the most overhead in terms of modification, turning this into something far more. But in terms of stock, they've left a lot off the table to make it, I would say, overly compliant for the street. This thing is really designed to take on some bad payment. So there's a ton of compression stroke. There's, and there's a, a lot, lot of travel. wheel travel as well. There's a lot of wheel travel. So that's great on the street when you're driving it hard not so much. So the positive part about that is it does teach you weight balance. 